Have you ever asked yourself the question, how do I take my favorite Smekin strategy, tool, organizer, and make it digital and interactive to share with my students? We found just the thing. It's a whiteboard app called Fig Jam, and it does just that. It takes your favorite Smekin strategy that normally is paper-based and makes it digital and interactive where you can add text boxes and sticky notes and links. And all you need to do is go to figma.com and set up an account. Figma offers a free limited version, or since you're an educator, you can sign up for an educator account, which gives you a few more tools. And once you do that, I'm going to show you what your dashboard looks like and how you can get started. Okay, so this is the dashboard when you first log in, once you set up your account. And you can, you know, you have the option to create a new Fig Jam. You can import Fig Jams from other you know, platforms that that you might use like Jamboard. But if you want to create a brand new Fig Jam, then what you would click is you click new Fig Jam Jamboard. And basically you start with a blank white workspace. You'll see the toolbar down at the bottom where you can add in, um, you know, different sticky notes and text boxes. If you have a picture or an image, a JPEG, of your favorite strategy, of your favorite organizer, then you can just upload it here. If you go to the plus sign and you go to the more tab, that's where you can upload a video, a JPEG, something like that. You can add in links. That's how you upload an image. So once you upload that image, then you can add in text boxes and sticky notes and, and things like that. There's a, a marker tool where you can click on with a highlighter and, and all there's all different options that you can create from scratch. But if you access one of our Fig Jams that we've already created for you, once you click on the link, it will look like this. It will be in view only mode. Well, you won't have that toolbar along the side until you make a copy of it. You have to, so every time you wanna use the ABC chart, I would just go and make a new copy and you can name it penguin ABC chart or polar bear ABC chart, you know, whatever the topic is that you're using with your ABC chart. I would just name it that and then, and just make a, a new copy every time. To make a copy, you go to the top and you click that little arrow and then you click duplicate to your drafts. Once you click on that, it will duplicate it into your drafts and now you have access to the toolbar and to add the sticky notes, all those features, okay? Down at the bottom, if you click on that sticky note, that's where you can change the color of your sticky notes. And then you can, you can just drag that sticky note into one of the squares. And once you click on it, you can make it bigger or smaller and you can just type right in the sticky note. I can see you using this in a whole class mini lesson modeling where you're modeling, you're talking, you're the scribe, you're filling out the sticky notes. Then you move to the we do and you let them turn and talk and now they can give you ideas, but you're still the one in control. You're still the one typing on the sticky notes and adding it to your fig jam. But maybe once the lesson ends and you are sending them back to their seats and you want them to have this fig jam so that they can add more sticky notes, that's when you would share it with them. And it, the way you share is you go over to the purple box, you click on the share button, you copy the link, or you can share it right to Google Classroom. When you share it, you can change the settings where the, it's view only and maybe you teach them how to make their own copy and add to it. Or maybe you want them to collaborate with each other and you make them all editors so they can see each other's sticky notes. So I can see the options for Fig Jam are endless. I think that there's so many different things that you could do, you know, with Fig Jam. And like I said, we've already created many Smekin's strategies as a Fig Jam already that you'll have access to all those links. But I think it's just a great tool to use to make anything that you're using digital and interactive.